Hey, Dr. Sloan for Vegas Pro Insiders Daily, and today is August the 23rd. And with that, we have more free picks. Yesterday, we went two and two. Cubs hit a three-run homer in the ninth inning to cost us a three-in-one day. Hey, it happens. We're still, uh, what, 110 and 70, or 109 and 72. Hard to complain about that, right around 60%. So we're still getting it done in the free picks, and we're still getting it done in other areas as well. My VPID members have enjoyed a tremendous 67-45 and 45 run in baseball. They, uh, My CFL record, uh, my top tips on CFL is become, being a VPID member is excellent. Uh, I have a long history. NFL preseason, I'm going to have probably three or four picks uh, all together this weekend. Uh, I've won 15 of the last 18 years, and college football starts Saturday, and I got a game up on there right now. All this action for you, $39.99 a month. Divide by, take that 39, divide it by 30 days, and ask yourself if that is not the best deal in sports betting. Okay, I don't know what is. I really don't. So check it out. You can get all that information. And there's more to it. There's, there's more than just what I just told you that you're going to get with that. So the value of it is beyond belief. And I'm here, quite honestly, to help you get on your winning streak. So that's what I'm here to do. So let's get to some free picks, shall we? NFL today, uh, we got just one game, Philadelphia and Cleveland. Interesting one. Now, at this point, we don't know if Carson Wentz or um, Nick Foles is going to play. Uh, the presumption is that, they're, is that they're not, which is why Cleveland went from minus two to, to minus three and a half. With the, here's the question, though, that I have. Actually, I have two questions. First, first question is, why did the total stay the same? Okay, because if those two guys aren't going to play, and Nate Sudfield, who has played well, okay, as a third string quarterback, but uh, for Philadelphia. But why is the total stay the same? Okay, the other question is, is that, and and I. I I didn't, I didn't look this up. I should have probably, and I'm not even sure if I could find the information to tell you the truth. But Philadelphia is looking at uh, being 0-3 in the preseason. Now, not the end of this world, right? I mean, preseason doesn't mean anything. That's all we're told. It means nothing. And for the most part, I have to agree with that. But it, I don't know if, that any team went 0-3 in the preseason, or maybe worse, in the preseason, and won a Super Bowl, or even went to a Super Bowl. Now, I could be wrong. I acknowledge that, okay? But that's just, I'm just throwing it out there for you, okay? Something to think about if you're thinking about taking Cleveland tonight. Coaches like like Peterson, and well, any coach for that matter, doesn't like to doesn't like to have a losing streak, okay? So it, has a, it could have a negative impact on your team. So from that standpoint, I'm going to lean here with Philadelphia, okay, on this one. Now, speaking of taking uh, risks, I got another one for you. Okay, we're going to do that Major League Baseball. Oakland's at Minnesota tonight. Now, Oakland had a rare loss to uh, Texas. So I personally, uh, of the three baseball plays I had yesterday, it was one I got wrong. Okay, had two other winners, so all good with that. Uh, but they still took the series against Texas, and now they let, lay head to the land of 10,000 still pretty warm lakes in Minnesota. Now, Trevor, Cah Trevor Cahill is going to be the starter for Oakland tonight, and he's been really good, but he hasn't been really good on the road. His ERA is 6.62, so that's not very good. Now, he's going to go up against Cole Stewart. Now, Cole Stewart, yeah, nobody's going to get excited about Cole Stewart. Okay, not even I'm not going to get excited about, about Cole Stewart. He's he pitched pretty well in the minors. They, they're trying to see if he could uh, cut the mustard, uh, at least for now, in, in the major league. So he's staying in the rotation for now. But here's why Minnesota is interesting to me. Uh, in their last eight games, they're averaging over six runs per contest, and I just gave you Cahill's ERA, and they've won 18 of their last 24 games. Now, the Twins have gone from plus 130 to uh, 135, excuse me, plus 135 up to plus 160 or higher. I don't mind taking a flyer here on this team, okay? I don't think Oakland's going to sweep them, so why can't Minnesota win game one? Just just throwing that out there. Take take a look at it. You can decide what you think on there. I'm going to lean, though, with Minnesota. Lastly, we got one more for you. And CFL Edmonton is at Hamilton. That's going to be on ESPN+. Plus, if you made the purchase for that particular product. Now, Hamilton blasted Edmonton 38-21 to as a six-point road underdog back in June. Now, this time, Sportsbook have adjusted the Thai Cats from minus one up to minus three and a half against the Eskimos. Now, here's the thing, though, why I think Edmonton might have some value. The underdog, 
has has covered seven straight in this in this series, and four of those games they've won outright. I'm going to go with Edmonton here with the points at three and a half. And if they won the game outright, I would not be entirely surprised. So, hey, this is Doug Upsolon for Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. I'll be back tomorrow with more free picks for the entire weekend to discuss. And we'll go from there. Consider becoming a VPID member. You will not regret it. Doug Upsolon, Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. I'm out.